Hey guys, Nick here, and I have another Black Ops 2 gameplay. This is another game of domination on raid. Um, I seem to do quite well on this map. Uh, I didn't really like it at first, but I guess I do well, so I should probably vote for it whenever it comes up. Um, the weapon I'm using is the MSMC with uh, three attachments. I'm using Grip, Silencer, and Fast Mag, and then my perks, I believe, are um, Scavenger. Or sorry, Scavenger is the second perk. Um, hardline, Scavenger, and Dexterity. But I think I might have to start switching up uh, Dexterity for um, either the Sit Rep equivalent or the, uh, I believe it's called Tactical Mask. Um, because I'm dying a lot from Shock Charges or uh, Claymore slash Bettys. So I don't know, does, uh, does the Sit Rep equivalent in this game show Shock Charges on the map? Because if it does, I would really like that. Because um, in this game, I don't die a whole lot but like most of my deaths are from claymores because this annoying sniper is hiding up in buildings with claymores and shock charges and he kills me a lot because of that and it's uh it's really annoying so i'm thinking i might have to switch to that but uh the kill streaks are the same kill streaks i was using the last game i uploaded um uav stealth chopper and lodestar and this is still my favorite kill streak loadout um works really well if you haven't tried it you probably should because it's awesome so anyways, I've been using a lot of different weapons in this game because I want to try everything out and uh, I really haven't been able to find anything that is overpowered. Um, I think at least in the SMG level everything is quite well balanced. There's nothing I think that is really unusable and there's nothing I think that really dominates all the other SMGs. Um, I still don't like the assault rifles, like any of the assault rifles. I find them all to be really, really weak. I don't know if it's just me, if I'm just using them wrong. But I try and hit people at a distance, and the kick on them is just so much, and the damage is so low. I think it's like five bullets at a distance to kill somebody, and you have a lot of recoil. So I'm thinking at that point, why not just use an SMG? Because an SMG is like six bullets at a distance, so it's one extra bullet, and they generally have less recoil plus a faster fire rate and are better close range. So I think they really need to do something. Um, I think it'd be cool if they just like added stopping power to the weapons in this game. I think it would speed things up a lot and make things um, a lot more entertaining. Like it's not really bad the way it is now, but um, I'm not really a fan of Treyarch's uh, concept of how weapons should be really weak. Like this isn't Halo. <laughs> we don't need five bullet kills. We want like two or three, like Call of Duty. That's uh, that's that's what Call of Duty is. Call of Duty Four. Most of the weapons were like two to three bullets to kill if you had stopping power, and that's that's pretty cool. This game now it's like somewhere between four and six bullets to kill, and that's like nonsense. <laughs> but uh, I am enjoying this game sometimes. Usually when the lag compensation doesn't doesn't punish me too badly. This game went really well for some reason. Um, I won a lot of gunfights. I find that if I strafe a lot, people can't hit me. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm just like abusing bad hit detection, if somehow like strafing really like screws up the hit detection or something, but um, when I strafe around a lot, I find that it's really easy to kill people. Like nobody hits me at all. All you have to do is move slightly. So <laughs> I'm not sure if, if people are just unable to hit, hit me when I move or if uh, strafing gives you some sort of magic powers, but um, yeah, <laughs> it's a it's an easy way to stay alive, I guess. Anyways, David Vonderhaar posted something on Twitter about how they were collecting statistics on everything. Um, they were recording like what perks are used most, what weapons are used most, and they're going to try and like buff or nerf things based on what's being used. And uh, I really am not seeing a whole lot of balance issues other than the fact that the assault rifles are almost completely useless. Um, it seems like everybody uses SMGs, and, okay, I got that stupid tomahawk death, and then I go here to try and call in my lodestar, and somehow I get stabbed in the back, like, I don't, I don't know what happened there, somehow I was, like, invincible, and then I get tomahawked, and then somehow there's a guy with a knife right behind me as soon as I spawn, so I don't know really what went on there, <laughs> I was, I was enjoying, like, lots of kills, also there was rumored to be something about, like, a 30 kill streak or something, it's like a Moab, there isn't, because I was, like, 40 and 0 or something there. I don't know. I got a bunch of kills there and uh, no special kill streak. So um, there's no Moab, no nuke, nothing like that. Um, at least not as far as I can tell. I'm pretty sure somebody would have uploaded one by now because I'm sure people have like 100 and 0 gameplays or ridiculous things like that. So yeah, no Moab, no nuke. That's uh, that's just something Treyarch does. But anyways, do you guys think the weapons are balanced? Do you think there's any weapon that is specifically overpowered? Any perk loadout that is overpowered? Anything that just uh, doesn't make a whole lot of sense? Um, 
as I said, there's <laughs> nothing really that bothers me right now. Um, there's no like Akimbo FMGs or anything like that, so uh, not a whole lot of problems there. Anyways, I'm not going to show the rest of this game because I don't really want to upload a 10 minute game and I find that the second round of domination is always a lot slower paced than the first because um, if you do what I did to those people there and you know get like a 40 kill streak, um, they tend to camp a whole lot more so I get killed like six times in the next round by some guy camping in a building with a sniper. Um, I just can't take him out with my, my SMG. Uh, so, I'm not going to be uploading the second round, but you can watch the rest of this um, Lodestar if you want, because I think this Lodestar is pretty cool. Anyways guys, thank you for watching the video. Please let me know if you think there's anything that's overpowered, underpowered, anything like that. And uh, yeah, please like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for some more, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.